Today we're going to be dreaming on board. Welcome aboard Balieto Dome 133. Let's okay. do the tour. So we have a very large swim platform actually on this vessel. In this case, we have a nice little layout area here. And this is really cool. I like this design of this passerelle. I have not seen that yet. Yeah, actually it tucks into this cavity here. You have the ability to extend, of course the passerelle extends out, but then it folds into this space. And this folds down and actually becomes the stairs equally to the port side. So if you look Let's over here, it. once the passerelle is folded in, both sides of the vessel actually from the stern look exactly the same. I think it's a brilliant solution because you really don't break up the exterior design Correct. of the vessel. Ah, fantastic little uh, brilliant Quick solution. Connect shower. Speaking of brilliant yeah. solutions, somebody came up with that. So Love let's, it. Uh, let's go up on top here. Yes, coming up. Well, first of all, let's talk about this elephant in the room. Very nice. So these are removable, the carbon fiber poles here and the, the spectra line. I like it. It uh, keeps it nice and light and still safe. And this plunge pool actually can become one solid surface. Correct. So it comes up and flat space. Beautiful. So this is actually decked on, on, the, uh, on the floor there mm -hmm. and it exactly comes up. So the water gets drained, gets uh, drained into a holding tank actually, and then it can be recycled and pumped back into when you lower the floor down and you want to actually use it. Such a beautiful design. All right, let's Great. check out the cockpit real quick. This boat is super busy. There's a lot of people that want to see it. So we got it for 30 seconds to show it to you guys. So we do have, again, loose furniture. You can rearrange it any way you want. I love that whole industry is kind of going that way. It's just nice to be able to convert the space into something else. Beautiful pops of colors everywhere. On this side is something very cool. I should close it or what? It's already open. It's already open. All right, show it. Okay. <laughs> so we have this on both sides. You have actually access here to the engine room and the technical space. You also have some storage for a camera back, for example, in our case. Wait, so do you have access on both sides? No. You have an access also on this side, on the port side. Um, I believe it's to the lazarette. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay, very cool. Let's go and show you the bow real quick. Enter to the engine room. We're gonna see a little bit later. I love this. A lot of people touched it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I okay. keep wanting oh, yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. clean it up. So yeah, we're gonna check that out later. Entrance to the engine room. Going forward. We have our side entrance right here. It leads us to the main staircase. Yes, yeah, so we can go all the way down. We can go to the owner's suite from here. A very simple, simple entrance. It's also quite nice from uh, the owner's suite. If you wanna just pop in, go to the bow, go back. You don't need to go through the salon. You can yeah. just come up right here. All right, let's go up. No peeking into the bridge. We will see that in a moment. Okay. Keep focus, we gotta go forward. So I got a wing station right here. There we go and it pulls out. Oh, you can just pull out, put it right here. Yep. Oh, I like that. It's always out of the elements. You don't have to deal with some of the covers sometimes that you don't know where to put. Agreed. Very simple. And then of course we are like, you know, nicely extended over, nice good wing station. If you walk back, of course we can't see anything right now because of these massive blow up fenders. <laughs> All right, welcome to the bow. It is huge. I guess we're gonna have to put a number on this. Oh boy. What do you think? It's an easy layout for... Okay, that's five, so that's six. I wanna say 12, 12? 15. Yeah. I, don't, I will never spend that much time laying out with 12 people. I know, right? So it's and very comfortable for eight. And very large straight windows. Look at the size of these uh, windshield wipers. I know, and they're nicely hidden and tucked away on top, actually put into the, into the cavities there so you don't really see them. Very stylish. Really nice. Okay, so. All right. We're gonna do this relatively fast. It's a big boat, so let's uh, let's keep going. I like how you and I keep walking through things that nobody usually cares about, and we're like, these are really nice. These mechanisms and these these are we should have these on our boat. Yeah, I like it. It's just very simple, just with the uh, spectra line and the balls, and then you have the tightener here. But the tightener and the line actually, there's a hole in here, so it gets tucked in. It looks very very clean. It's nothing you need to tie up. You just stuff it into the hole and done. 
Yeah, these are good. I like these. Okay. So going forward, we have our working bow. It does feel like this, this comes real like close and tight to it. There's a reason for that. There's a reason exactly because there is a garage behind this. Um, huh. Actually underneath this, this, this whole thing opens up. So here on the working foredeck, we have big, large bullets for the dock lines, or in this case, actually the mooring lines. And then we have two stainless steel windlass with a big chain going through here. Of course, the anchors are in the pockets right now because we're not using the anchors. We're using actually moorings here in Monaco Harbor. But yeah, manual brake, winch handle on top to loosen it up if you want to have it just free fall. Everything the way it's supposed to be. And then here is the hatch for the anchor locker. And of course, Victoria's favorite bell which I'm pretty sure she's gonna ring in a second. Okay, I found somebody to open us the garage. Ooh, bell. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> I had to do it. Here we do have storage with a crane for the emergency tender. Yeah. Emergency slash crew, crew tender. Right now it's used for um, storage primarily doing the boat show. So we have some bicycles in here, some long boards in here. You see the hydraulic crane behind the hydraulic crane. I don't know if you can see that. Actually, you got to come to the other oh, side. Oh, yeah, right here. We do have I see another it top loading freezer. There oh, we go. Oh, that's awesome to have. Yeah, very cool. Actually, it's really big. It goes really deep in there. Good storage on the bow with a crane. So it comes in handy. You could put a jet ski in there. Great use of space. Yeah. Thank you so much. We can close it up. All right. Shall we head and back? And just like that, it's gone. <laughs> and you don't even know it's there. It's clean. Yes. Love yeah. it. Okay. So I went through everything. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I missed all of it. I did get to ring the bell though. You did. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Where are we going next? Off to the uh, pilot house. Okay. Let's do it. We do have equal staircases on both sides. Yes. So we can go all the way back to our Main deck. Cockpit, main deck, yeah. and we are entering the pilot house, the wheelhouse, the pilot house. What else? The bridge. Oh, the bridge. I knew there's a few names. All right, welcome. Welcome to the bridge. Did you give people a fair warning about the sound system on this boat? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I've yet to see that specific system on a yacht because I'm just used to seeing it when Rico plays like big clubs, big festivals. They use this system. It's uh, it's pretty crazy to yeah. see it here and the owner of this vessel obviously wanted to show it off because it's not even really trying to be hidden it's like it's it's there you know it's there on the bridge here we have Runo vhf radios actually three here behind we have a captain's chair offset to the side actually in this case port side interesting yep yeah. and then adjust a leaning post at the helm it's very interesting. So I kind of feel like this supports Alexi's theory that, hey, you could have that, but this is, this is just way more professional. Well, also this pilot house is not as deep. Mm -hmm. So of course, with having the dash come out from the side to the center, um, extending out further because of all the equipment we have on the dashboard, mm -hmm. it made sense. If you would have put a captain's chair in the center, you would have had a really hard time walking through. So this way, the way they laid it out, makes 100% sense. You have a clear walkway through to the port side or from port to starboard and just have the leaning post in the center. We have a data helm here. We're going to have the same on our boat. Yes, uh, I know you're excited the, about we that. We have the backup joystick here, so you can use the joystick as well. Shift and throttle controls, yacht management system. In this case, it's burning. The horn, everything's nicely labeled with the presets for the basic maneuvering. So you can just press it and it does the three blasts, for example, if you go astern by itself. Stabilizers, windlass, dual windlass, of course. Intercom between the different areas of the boat. We got the bow thruster right here. Emergency stop button for the main engines. Furuna remote control right here. Windshield wiper controls. We have quite a bit, actually. We have another Furuno electronics here. Multifunction display, so you can pick and choose where you would like to have your information displayed. So in this case, we have the chart plotter with the AIS information, CCTV, same again, chart plotter, the radar on standby, which is over here on the starboard side. And we get the gyro compass actually overhead uh, built into the ceiling. Everything is nicely blacked out, so there's no glare of any sorts. Straight windows help a little bit with that as well. I love the carbon fiber look here on the, on the outside. The inlay looks really slick. Really nice. And then here, 
We have the door to the captain's quarters. Which, which we're gonna respect the privacy and not show it to you guys in the store. Apologies for that. But as you can imagine, on this deck, Captain has a pretty nice view. Real quick. Yes. What's the name of this horn thing again? Kahlenberg. Not sponsored at all. I feel like they get such a huge shout out in every video. We might as well be sponsored. Listen, Kahlen... Kahlenberg. Kahlenberg. <laughs> Please reach out and sponsor us because Rico is obsessed with your beautifully organized horns, okay? It's the brand to go with. It's he just what is, it is obsessed. So we have a small city here. I mean, for one, just to be able to sit down and yep. you know to have a, another spot to sit. They actually added another chair here. And then, then we're going to go aft. Yes. Oh, and all of these are storage? Storage, yeah. Storage and... I don't um, think there's breakers Breakers, everywhere. of course, yeah. Also have some breakers there. Okay. So then we go in aft. This staircase is going to take us all the way down to our crew area, the galley, and mm -hmm. then down to the crew mess. Interesting how they build in this exposed storage here. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Never seen that before. And then right here, we do have our stew's pantry. We have a coffee machine, ice maker. They also have these water spout. I am so excited that this whole industry is starting to go that way. The large yachts, especially charter oriented boats are going this route. Look, they have steel, sparkling, cold chilled. Steel too? Aluminum as well? No, steel. Still? Still, still. <laughs> still sparkling, chilled, room temp. Such a nice feature. It gets rid of so many. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> all right keep going his face was doing this behind the camera anyway i'm talking about something really important here environmental yeah. stuff yeah. just gets rid of lots of plastic it is so fantastic less trash there's just there's literally no downside only benefits so it's just a little machine thing underneath that's doing the water and has the um CO2 yeah, um, for the cartridge, yeah, drink fridge. So going back into the guest area. What do you mean back into? We haven't been to it yet. We're going into the guest <laughs> area. <laughs> we did do a little sneak peek, you guys. Here's the main staircase, leading you all the way down to the main deck and the guest cabins. Okay, and then on this side, we do have our day head little small compact sink i like this this is what i'm talking about for our cabin mm -hmm. to put that in the toilet area we totally have the space for it yeah. it's fantastic put your contacts in brush your teeth just an extra sink it's nice to have when you're sharing a cabin with your spouse welcome to the sky lounge sky lounge love these sofas they are so plush and comfy you just want to sit on them what's going on you're reading the brand yeah. They're really cool. What's the brand? They're Casina. Casina. Beautiful. Really, I really, I like literally want to sit on them. They're yeah. so plush. I know. This is very, very inviting for a movie night, for, you know, family evening. You have the big TV behind the mirror right there. Look at the windows. And it's very interesting. The shape of this deck, right? Like the windows, the way they're... You almost feel like you're in a, in, a, in a house with a slanted ceiling already, right? Yeah, it's almost like an attic feel, right? Yes. Like that cozy space that you just want to spend time in. I'm positive there's a giant TV right here. Of course there hidden, is. Hidden, just nicely tucked away. And then a little sneak peek, sneak what's, peek what's, what's to, to come. come. What's to come. <laughs> and this is a company called Function One. Played on these actually a lot in nightclubs all the time. I haven't heard it here on the boat, but um, I'm really really just wait oh, until more. we get up to the sun deck so if you guys will notice this shape here it's going to repeat itself throughout the whole boat like this concept Round this shapes. design but it's not just it's exactly this shape that it carries through all sorts of cabin cabin street it's really nice like if you just look right there it's everywhere yep. it is everywhere love it it's just sort of a theme for for the design okay so this is our service bar I mean, imagine like you're hanging out with your friends it's such a nice space it is a very generous bar actually what do we it. have here very heavy <laughs> very heavy 
tons of storage and there's no drink fridge or anything here because obviously Stu's pantry is right there. So if you need ice, if you need anything, you can just grab it from right here. And this is just a really nice service bar. You can set up your bottles, Beautiful. you can do some good cocktails. All right, let's go out to our... Bridge deck aft. Bridge deck aft, like that. Yep. Opens automatically. Don't have to do anything. Okay. Let's do this quickly. This boat's getting so busy. There so flush, so flush many deck. people want to see it. Beautiful. No threshold at all. Wow, look at all this teak decking throughout. Your favorite round table. Love round tables. Very nice touch. And this is a lazy Susan. Oh no, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I, I think just for, you know, socializing, having a nice meal together, a round table, everybody can talk to everybody. Yeah, if you have a space for it, it's a must. It's, I agree. It's great. I love round tables. Nicely done. If you already guys saw the preview in the cockpit of this floating staircase with glass railings, I mean, it is beautiful. They just have the stainless steel on one side and then the other one is just glass and then just the glass support. It looks very open. I'm a fan of these pieces here. This table, this cocktail table, I mean, clearly it's custom, beautiful design. Love the colors that kind of picks up the, the sun. It's really pretty, Agreed. very, very cozy space. And I like how they went with just loose furniture. They can completely rearrange it. You can see like that little settee could be here. You could have uh, a really cool, comfy space together. Yes. It's a way to go, loose furniture. Everybody's doing it. Also find it interesting that, you know, usually we see this kind of a, a triangular sails, like three or four, right? Yep. Or just this one big massive one. But this is an interesting solution, how if you take the two side ones off, you still have this one that you can easily use. 100%. Yeah, and then if you want to add it on, then you can do the side pieces, but you technically don't have to. Well, also underway, for example, yeah. you know, you might want to take the side ones off just uh, exactly. if the wind picks up. You can probably leave the center one on. But this one does keep a nice sturdy shade. It's not like a triangles where you yeah. have yeah. half shade, half No, no, know, well, very well. Half sun. Yeah, nicely done. Oh, my gosh, it's my favorite YouTubers. I love your channel. Oh. <laughs> we'll call you when we're done. <laughs> Do we know you? How did you get into the show? <laughs> that was Nikki. Nikki Wynn, obviously yeah. giving her a hard time. But, uh, and what did you do with Jason? Did they not let him in? <laughs> Figures. <laughs> See ya. Okay, we are on the Balietto. Back to Balietto, Dome 133. All right, let's go all the way up to our sun deck. Ooh, no, what is going keep on? walking. Let's go what? all the way forward. And it keeps Stop going. Stop it. Let's go okay, forward. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we going? All the way forward. We're missing all the interesting stuff. You will get back there. You can spend time oh, on it. Oh, man. Okay, welcome to our sun deck. This is interesting. They left the sides open. There is yes. no glass. They just did the glass forward. I do like that. First of all, I'm sure crew is very happy. It's way less glass to clean. Yep. Second of all, this is primarily where your windage is coming from. So you really don't need more than that. Correct. Just quickly, um, visibility here underway. Mm -hmm. It's a space. It's a yeah, spot to be, right? I mean, I mean imagine you here just cruising. Oh. I don't want to touch anything. Don't, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> don't Rule do number it. one, don't touch the stainless when okay, you are so at the boat show. Very generous layout, Pat, again. Mm -hmm. Then we have the plunge pool, Beautiful. Which, is, which is really big too. I mean, this is plunge yes. pool easy for eight, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 10. Very, very comfortable. Yeah. Nicely built in, nicely done. This has got to be our access for the uh, hot tub. Yeah. And then on this side, we have our sink, which you can also close it up. Oh, look, this is kind of cool. You can just slide it. <gasps> I like oh, that. Nice. It's so easy. So simple. And then ice maker, some storage, a big drink fridge. Oh, wow. Look, this thing's so tall. Yeah. Some more storage and some more storage. Can you open this one more time? Uh, okay. That's where all the speaker cables are. Okay, cool. Ah, okay. Got it. He found speaker cables. So got a power outlet right here. Nicely protected. So we have a really nice service bar here. Check this out. Retractable sunshade huh. on the forward part and the aft part. Okay, you gotta hold the camera for a second. Go away. 
You guys see this? Okay, this is of course, it's removable. We have a stand here. You finally found Rico in two of his elements. He's on board of a boat with a crazy sound system. So we have a function one tops here. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six function one tops, two monitors and two 18 inch subwoofers. And of course, nicely protected from the elements. So nicely covered. Of course, you can, you know, point them whichever way you want okay, to. Okay, but is this permanently here or how does this work? No, you, you can remove it. It's a stand. It's just a receptacle there. It has a brace here to the railing. And then this, of course, you can adjust as well and remove it, leave it, uh, change it. It's the way it looks. I think they'll probably leave it out. Unless um, it's really bad time, weather. Unless it's really bad and weather. Like video yeah. crossing or something. Um, so you get two monitors. I guess if it would be me, I would have my setup right here, like right here, have the monitors uh, left and right of me. And then moving aft. So. Oh, yeah. You know what? Do you think this boat belongs to a DJ? Maybe. Mm. Who knows? We Who don't knows? know. We don't know. Oh, we forgot one thing. We did? Yes. We Why have do you a, always say we forgot? We have a quick connect here for ah. a shower. So you can also have a shower. Here's the drain right here. Uh -huh. so you're gonna, nice have a deck shoes. shower here as well. Nice shoes. Like my shoes. Turn around. Uh -huh. Yep. Rocking the Balietto shoes. Um, and then we have two of these 18 inch subwoofers here. Insane. Yeah. And um, of course you can, you can move them around wherever you need them. I would probably face, pay, place them somewhere on the side or facing back wherever the party is going. So back to the uh, tour. Back to the boring stuff. Um, can I just say that I am very happy that we went with KRA, which has an ability to hide all this crazy sound, put it away, you can hear it, it's there, but it's not in your face. Yes. As much as this is fun, I would not want these giant boxes on that boat. I'm sorry. It's still going to sound so, so good. For sure. 100%. So for me, that's a big plus. We have the ability, if we think for some reason our subwoofers are not enough, <laughs> we can always plug in external ones. What is, what is this new conversation? Yeah. We don't need to plug in external. We have four subwoofers on the top. If we are one of the stages in the festival, for example. Stop. Stop. In a, a festival. Water, a water-based festival. Okay, right. back, back to back reality. Back to the tour. Back to reality. Got some workout equipment. Yes. Laying right there. Yes, and uh, the, the gym sort of continues that way. But you know, I'm just noticing like this is also modular furniture. Yes. And you could tell like if it's really if it's needed, you could just carry these these down or lower them with a crane or something. You can actually move them deck to deck to rearrange if needed. Let's say you want to have a huge party up here and you don't want all this furniture, you want just one open space. Yeah. You can easily do that. So this uh, David or this crane, it's a manual crane, is removable, but it definitely comes in handy for moving equipment up and down just to have it up here. Just um, moving really some cool. more speakers up and down. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we do have a gym right here, which we can, of course, also move whenever needed to. I love the details on this furniture piece. It's very cool. We have three oh, large... Oh, check this out. Yes. Check this out. You, uh -huh. didn't, you didn't even realize. It's... You do this... Convertible, and right? And you can take it off. That's what I said. That is you really cool. You didn't realize. Really cool. Yeah, so you can just take it off. Like I said, it's modular, so you can really change yeah. it up. We have three sun loungers right here, which uh -huh. you can also change and move them around. All this furniture, love it. Check out these domes. Yep, we got the uh, satellite domes here and the main mast with the open array radars, the horn, courtesy flag, navigation lights, VHF antennas, searchlight, and so... Two more speaker stands. Yep, well, you gotta have proper sound, right? Can you guys please put it in the comments if you would build a boat of this size, would you take a system like we have the KRA and tuck it away, hide it so it's really not visible and then you turn it on and it just blasts like whatever you want and it's beautiful sound? Or would you rather display it this way and have it all visible like in your face? Check out my sound system. What do you guys think? Put in the comments. I'm very curious which route you would go. Okay, let's do it. Where are we going? We're going down one deck to the bridge deck inside through the Sky Lounge. We're going through the Sky Lounge? Through the Sky Lounge. Okay, all, all right. the way down all to right. the guest state rooms. Hello, door. Let me in. Okay, let's do it. Seems like we've got a little bit of a break. Let's head all the way down 
to our state ropes. One more down. Which way do we go? Let's go all the aft. way aft here. Well, not all the way, but... Aft. Going aft. Wow, look at these. Wow. Yeah, that's your watertight door, bulkheads. Watertight bulkheads. So, look at, look at these. Just that. That, mm -hmm. that gives you some sense of security. Yeah. You know, here's, you, the, here's the door. If you're, if you're in the middle place. of the ocean and no one's there to help you, that gives you a sense of security that there, at least you have a chance. Okay, walking into our first staterooms. Starboard. Starboard, thank you. Speakers everywhere. There's yeah, speakers nicely built there. into the ceiling. Yeah, so Got that's the, what uh, I'm talking about. A mirror TV mm -hmm. right across the bed. Queen size bed. Yes. I like these nightstands. Look, they're floating. The way they shaped it, it's very cool. Oh, yeah, beautiful. With the built-in light, actually, the indirect light from underneath, uh -huh. which bounces back. It looks really nice, probably at nighttime. All right, we're walking into our head. Right here, we have our hanging lockers. Yep. And then we have a pocket door walking in. Wow! Oh, wow. This is a surprise. I didn't expect it at all. It's actually very bold marble colors. Really cool. Check this out. It is beautiful, really. Wow, so different. Even this in is the also shower. interesting. The you know the way they went with this sort of a like a glass insert. Yeah, but like a milky glass. Very no, it's not milky. Oh, what is it? No, it's just a tinted glass or like a back. No, it's like it's got glass. like a smoky is what I was yeah. trying to say. Not milky, but like a smoky glass. Okay, should I go into this shower? Sure. It is really pretty. Wow. Where do you even find marble like this? This is absolutely stunning. Huge rain shower. Yeah, interesting color choices on all the fixtures. I think we need to watch some of Inas's videos to uh, to know all the colors and names, right? We gotta we gotta brush up. All right, all right let's ready? check out the port cabin. All right, let's do it. Escape hatch and mirror image. Same cabin, same here. We have our hanging locker right here. Same exact layout, but it's a different color marble. So when you in that cabin, you know, okay, that's my cabin. Mine is blue. It looks completely different. Yeah. Very it's definitely cool. more neutral, right? Yes. Th this, uh, this marble choice. Yes. It's, uh, see, see the shapes I was talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. And they kind of repeat themselves throughout the design. Very pretty. Okay. Now we go in. Fort Port. Forward to port, fine. We should have started with this cabin because technically it's our smaller cabin. It's a double cabin, but we also have a nicely hidden Pullman in here. And the same theme continues even on the Pullman. Yes, great job. And then right here we have our hanging locker. Mm -hmm. TV behind here. And I'm walking into our head. Yeah, this one's different. Check it out. These are so cute. I like the design. Um, nice amount of countertop here. Two people sharing a cabin. It's pretty, pretty great. And then here we have our... Like one person. A good size one person shower. Yes. Very nice. But still rain shower overhead and then the handheld as well. Huge rain shower. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling like the rain shower head game is going hand in hand with the TV size game. Like, at what point is it enough? When do we stop? Like, what did we just recently tour uh, one of the production boats, right? Mm -hmm. And the rain, the size of a, it was like a 60 footer and the size of the rain, rain shower heads was just, it was the size of the shower. Walking into our VIP. This room is set up kind of like a turn down service. Nicely like dimmed already. Mood, mood lighting. Yeah. These are really cool. Look at that lamp there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to open up that. Um, no. Oh, really? Fine. Doesn't want to work at all today. Look, check this out. Our hanging lockers. These are cool. Mm -hmm. Like that. Nice storage bins. Very nice. And then nice design features like wooden sled. We've got our table slash vanity mirror right here and of course we can have a little poof here this looks like storage let's open one up perfect and then of course again a mirror tv and coming into our head it's uh, very similar it's a different layout we actually have more countertop space and that double 
double yeah. cabin there, which is kind of nice because usually in the double cabin, you're going to have people that are not probably married or, yeah, you know, yeah. so like if they have their own space. I like that. And so the, and the same size shower as well. And here's the same mar marble throughout that we saw over there. And we have another, another closet right here. Got it. Where do we go next? Up to the main salon and the owner suite. All right, and we're walking into our salon. I propose we started the way it was intended, as Carla told us. We got to start proper. So from let's, the cockpit. Yes. All right, that's what we're going to do. Let's pretend that we just walked from our cockpit, walked right in. Actually, you can walk right in. Look at that. The yeah. doors open and everything. Ah. There we okay, go. Okay, here we go. Proper. Walking in, so you guys can appreciate all the little details. Look at the size of these windows. I love this. This is unique. You don't see this every day. Actually, some real plants. Yes, and this is a complete glass, right? So you guys are kind of wondering how yes. this gets serviced. Like, how do you put, you know, how do you water these plants? Very nice. We actually have a glass door that opens from the exterior, so you can actually have access to them. Yes. Pretty cool. So again, really interesting choices of furniture. The whole design is just floating. This is cool. I haven't seen this um, on any of boats yet. Yep. Very cool how it's they just curved. curved that. It looks really, really nice. We have again a mirror TV yeah, for the I, salon. I, I don't know how big it is, but it must be massive. And you mentioned the furniture. Doesn't it remind you of something? I mean, not the color, but... Yeah, the shapes. The yes. shapes and the I thought you said not the Carla. Not the Carla. <laughs> and, and the touch of color with the um, little chairs, which we're going to have on our boat as well. Shout out to our Carla. We love you. Okay, beautiful shapes here. Check this out. So we have this council right here. Which is pretty nice because it gives you a little bit of a separation between the salon area and the formal dining, but also extra storage space. Yes, exactly. So the custom table here is worth mentioning because it is stunning. The stone, heavy, it's, it's, it's definitely a statement piece. And then it's set up for 10. Yes, right now it's set up for 10. And then of course, forward of that, we have more storage. This is beautiful. And can we talk about the puffer fish? Piece. The puffer fish, we have two puffer fish. So cute. Two fishes. So cute. <laughs> All no, right. I think it would be only, it's the same species. So it has to be, it will be one fish. I know. Yeah, part for fish, yeah. but if there were two different species, I just recently learned that. I don't know if you guys knew that, that you can actually say fishes, which I didn't think and, was allowed. And then again, uh, actually put the function one built into the ceiling here, facing downwards. Um, also very interesting. Bonkers. Okay, yep. where do we go? Forward Let's, and um, show you the owner suite. Correct. Okay. Oh, this is our escape hatch. That from, is one of the escape hatches, yeah. From the cabin on the... Uh, starboard side. That's right. Okay, so as we're going forward, remember the staircase mm -hmm. that's th that we mentioned from the exterior? So you have this kind of a private access. There's a pocket right here. You remember the side door, Victoria, actually meant, not staircase. Um, this is the door, yes. So that's your, that's your side entrance door to the main oh. staircase landing area. Two weeks of boat shows. Oh my God. So we have a day hat here. Yes, day hat. Very cute. Wait, this feels like a deja vu. Yep, because we had one which looked almost exactly the same. Yeah, same on the, sink and everything. On the bridge deck. Okay. So walking let's forward. Go forward. So would these be our? Oh, there it is. We got quite some um, AV equipment here. Lots of them, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's probably where the amplifiers wow. are. This is yep. one thing we don't have space for on our boat to have it like this. Yeah, this is pretty inc incredible, actually. We got the, the, got the big amplifiers here for the Function 1 system and then more receivers for the entertainment system. Wow, that was unexpected. <laughs> more? No, storage. <laughs> it's more! And more, yep. Wow. wow. There's a lot of audiovisual equipment Where are you putting all boat? of this on our boat? I don't even want to know. Okay, going forward to our owner suite. This is interesting. They almost have like a, a foyer before you enter the actual stateroom. Yes. So you have your desk here, your uh, table if you want to work. If you don't want to work, you have a beautiful piece of art. There's really nice settee right here. Also nice just to, you know what, if you're in the morning and 
your spouse is still sleeping and you actually want to do some work here, you can close this door as a pocket door and you could have this space a bit private. Also with having the chance of two doors you can close, you can yeah. make it really, really quiet if you want to sleep in. The crew and the guests can already sure. be, you know, do their stuff, have breakfast in the salon, whatever it might be. Good and point. And you actually have it very quiet. All right, we asked for some assistance to show you guys this detail. Check it out. No way! That is incredible. <laughs> and that's what I call an engineering marvel, okay? Nuts. So now you need to go on top. Safe to go. <laughs> what? <gasps> this is amazing. I'll just stay here, you do the rest of the tour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, why wouldn't you have your coffee here every morning? Right, wow. Wow, that was impressive. That was so cool. We needed assistance, but push up a button. If you think about it, you're an owner, you don't even, you don't need to ask for crew. You can literally just get up in the morning, yep. push the button. It's, and um, it's actually not that complicated. Open balcony, close balcony. Yeah, so I'm sure that they kept that in mind. They wanted it this way. They wanted to have this privacy to be able to just do that. I mean, if you bring a date home, right? If you're a bachelor owning this yacht, you bring a date home and you just push a button, that's impressive. Private balcony in the morning. That is pretty cool. All right, especially if you don't expect it at all, if you just, you know, wake up in the morning. So and we have a California King here. Yes. Massive, wow. massive bed. Incredible. So then what? What do we have over here? This is my space. This is our walk-in closet, my walk-in closet. I like how they did this. They really kept the shapes, left it open, they didn't do any doors or anything. Why? Yeah. It's a walk-in closet and nicely rounded, beautiful. There's some, there's a safe in there. And okay, walking into our head. Oh, they, they went with onyx here. It's actually a beautiful contrast and kind of nice. You don't expect it at all. Dual vanity. Yeah. Yes, of course. How cool is that? These are so fun. Let's check out that shower first. Yep. Definitely a fur person shower. Wow, this is a huge space. Yeah, big rain, rain head overhead. Really nice. Look at the mirror too. Huh. Here on both sides. Oh, you have a... Oh, look, 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 In look. Infinity. Infinity. That looks so cool. Oh, this, this would actually make me waste water. I don't know. If you you have spend to have too much time yeah, in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> You have a good water maker for this because that infinity mirror is uh, is kind of uh, addicting. So if we go on this side, we have our bidet and a toilet and the same thing, infinity mirror. I'm not sure if this is a great idea. You're just gonna be like mesmerized here. Like, ah, love it. Okay, where are we going next? We're going to check out the galley and the crew quarters. Oh, that's right, the galley. Let's do it. I'm gonna go all the way around all the way around this is cool you have our side entrance right here great yeah. for bringing in provisioning another pocket door right pocket here pocket door right here for the crew you have another sous pantry on this level have a big wine fridge here dishwasher great some storage looks like a fridge which i'm sure is get, it's getting used primarily for drinks yeah. for service and then here we have a bit more storage all right, so this is very convenient. And then, of course, it takes us to our galley. Yeah, okay. it is pretty cool. There's Star Trek. Okay, walking into the galley. This is different. The way they laid this out, I'm actually gonna say I've never seen a layout like this. So they sort of split this space and uh, put a big amount of prep space right there, mm -hmm. which I think is also nice if you have a chef and a sous chef working. And you can also tuck nicely things away in this mm -hmm. corner here. This is wanna... a great corner for some appliances. Right, I, I would say too, there's an outlet there as well, so it makes total sense. Yeah, let's start right here. So we do have, looks like our... I want to say deep fryer. Yes. Uh -huh. Somebody was just frying. Deep fryer. We have a commercial hood. Of course, a six burner induction cooktop, big size oven, 
which I'm very envious about oh, because in US, sadly, we don't have the 36 inch oven. We only have the 30 inch oven option. Well, we have the 36, but it, it's the one that's freestanding. Correct, not as a module. You not a fan of. Yep. But, okay, so we have a microwave oven. We have another oven right here. That's a steamer. Ah, that's the steamer. Great, it's something we're gonna have on our boat as I well. I think it's a steamer, right? Steam oven. And then on this side, we have a large sink. Mealy Professional Dishwasher. Oh, it even says Marine on it. And then, as we come around this way, of course, we have all this storage, chefs on board, so I'm not gonna open everything, just gonna open the fridge. To give you guys an idea, we have a fridge here, freezer, freezer and a freezer. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's a good amount of freezer space. And this connects us directly to our, well, technically not ours, theirs. Crew area. Crew area. So this will take us straight to our pilot house, uh, actually Stu's pantry, upper Stu's pantry. That's right. And then as we go down here, walking into our crew mess, this is Thomas, Hi. our engineer Hi, Thomas. we met earlier. We did, and I've been watching your videos. It's always a success when you have a crew member watching the videos, because I kind of feel like at least you guys take us somewhat serious. You Absolutely, know? and they're authentic. Oh, oh thank I appreciate you. it. Appreciate we it. got a lot of crap actually from people saying, ah, oh, these two have no idea what they're talking about. And we're like, okay, well, maybe. When we have <laughs> Super Yacht crew watching our channel, yes, that's a score. Absolutely. Appreciate it. So, what do you got here? Show us around. So, in here we have. The I know this is not your domain. Your domain oh, is an engine room, which we'll see in a moment. So, basically, this is the crew mess. Yep. With the crew mess fridge. You guys are uh, nine? We are eight, cr eight crew plus the captain. So yeah, this, this boat has nine crew. Okay, but your shifts, so it's do, not really have, we, everybody in this space. We do do shifts in here, yes. We've got the laundry over here. Uh-huh, there's a big TV. There's a monitor screen right there. Oh, Microwave. also, okay, sink, same thing. Look, they've got that. I'm so excited about this. I'm really excited about this. The water fountain? Yes. Yeah. And then, of course, they have dual washer and dryer, a laundry space right here. It's definitely on the compact size, but it's nice that it's open so you can actually get in and out and it's not super hot in there. So we'll yep. be closed. I mean, you have the door, but you have an ability to keep it open. Okay, and then we have a crew cabin to show you. Switch. Okay, we've got Ball one cats. crew cabin to show you. Yes. Cool yeah. crew cabin. Okay. Yeah. One of the cabins, they're kind of all the same, right? They are so, okay. In, in layout. Perfect. I'll move out of the way and let you get to okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have our bunk. Um, yeah, you got the privacy curtains. Walk in shower. Oh, look at this door. Yeah, oh, that works. Accordion door. Actually, a nice, nice one and a half person shower, I would say. Great, great cabin. Whoever has this cabin is very clean and tidy. Yes. Thanks for letting us show it. You oh. guys really appreciate it. Okay, ready? All right, I'm Thomas. To... We'll follow you. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> So we have our tender, we have a jet ski right here. What's your domain? Walk us through. Okay, my domain is the engine ah, room. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not friendly. We're friendly. <laughs> so is that the one which is normally stored on the bow? So we have a jet ski stored on the bow that is currently stored on the bow and is lifted in and out with the crane. This one here is taken in, in and out with this crane. And the small tender that you see there is more or less used for sort of cleaning purposes and in tight marinas. We also have a big 40 foot uh, tender that we tow. That you tow, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, that's our plan. We're gonna tow. So that's the way to do it. Then you can have a proper tender. And sure. it looks like a lot of hydraulics going on here. Yeah, we do have a lot of hydraulics because we've got an aft pool that has a floor that raises and lowers. Also the hydraulics that you need for this crane here. Yeah. As well, so you do. we do have a power pack at the back and a lot of hydraulic lines and control circuitry. A fueling station. Uh -huh. We do have a fueling station here that delivers diesel when you need it. But that's primarily, we use pe petrol or gasoline on all of our tender toys. So that's more for servicing purposes. Got when we're servicing the engines. Sounds wow. good. Cool. Yeah. Okay, right. we'll follow you into the engine room. Thank you. Thanks for showing us around. No worries. Oh, wait, what about this? We need emergency this. tiller. Emergency tiller. That's, yeah, that's the steering power pack and the, emer and the emergency tiller, if you, obviously, if you lose the hydraulics. Yeah. That always freaks me out. Like, if someone's going to tell me something on the radio, and I am in the complete dark, gonna be doing that. Just, I don't know. I know it works, but conceptually it's really scary. So walk us through. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have- Where do we start? I think we'll start with the engines. Yeah. Perfect. So on this vessel being a 2023, we have the twin Caterpillar C32. 
So these are V8 twin turbo, 1600 horsepower each. And at sort of 1800 knots, you could expect 10, 10 to 12 knots, uh, sorry, 1800 revs, and a burn rate of about 200 liters an hour. These also have in the exhaust system urea, which is forced into the exhaust system under uh, forced air. So this boat's set up for the Caribbean and America, which the urea lowers the emissions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's the same like the, it's, it's, you also have to have the, the DEF liquid for that? You do, yeah. yeah but same. we store that in a tank. Yeah, yeah. Sto a stored in the tank. Interesting. I'm driving a Cummins powered truck and it's the same thing. You have the DEF, you just got to fill it up and yeah. That's right. And it does the burn off frequ frequently. Yes. Yeah. All right, what else? Okay, so we've also got twin Caterpillar C 4.4 generators. Each one of this can, can, has an output of 100 kilowatts and is sufficient to power all the systems on board. On this vessel, we have an electric bow thruster and electric fin stabilizers. Okay. The, the stern thruster is off the PTO from the engines. Got but it. One of these generators is more than powerful enough to power everything on the boat. One, you use your bow thruster and you're maneuvering, docking and so on, one generator is enough? One generator is enough, but it's probably about 70% of its capacity. So as a redundancy, I would always start the other start generator. The so one. if we lose one, yeah. then we've got the second one or, I'll, or I'll parallel the loads. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got, also, we've got a ballast, a bio C ballast treatment works here. So on this vessel, because we have an aft pool that is 3.5 cubic meters, mm -hmm. this 3.5 tons, it seems to sit a little bit low on the stern. So we balance that up by filling two of the ballast tanks with the ballast treatment works. Forward. Yeah. And just, Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Over here we have the oily water separator. So this is a Boss oily water separator. So it's got three filters and that will filter all bilge water. Yeah. And it will get it down to less than 15 parts per million. Mm -hmm. And under Marpole regulations is then sufficient to be discharged at sea yeah. when 12 miles offshore. So that's, so you've got the, th the three filters there. This is the OCM, the oil control module. Uh -huh. And what that does, that monitors the final process. Once we're under 15, it will discharge on this. Yeah. And then uh, do you guys also have a black water treatment? We do. That? Yeah. So that's here. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's here. So this is a, this oh, is a, sorry, this yeah. is a, co a Hammon from Germany, oh. compact 125. So this will process 125 liters of black water an hour. That's a lot. It is, but the dilution is very important. So we have to transfer five to one ratio from the gray water into the black water tank to dilute it yep. before it enters this. Initially, it goes through the saturator, then it, and then this over here produces flocculant. And what the flocculant does, it mixes in this tank and makes mud, which is like a biological mud. And then it pushes out of there. And in the final part of the process, it goes through this UV lamp and by then it's very, very clean. And again, it can be discharged overboard at sea. Very, very, very different from what we have. I get the chill. The chillers are pretty quiet, huh? They are, they, uh, they are, they are. So over here we have two, we have two Idramar 9000 series water makers, reverse osmosis plants. Because we have two swimming pools, and sometimes there's like up to 12 guests and nine crew. It's a lot of fresh water you go yeah, through. Yeah, huh? and then the, the pool water you need to dump every two to three days, even though it's chlorinated. So these units will produce 800 litres of water per hour. Wow. And that's got a self-dosing unit here that doses silver ions catadin into the system to remineralize the water. And again, a UV system behind you that, that yeah. for the final process of the filtration. I'm actually curious, what, what do you think you guys water consumption on average daily? Sometimes we can do 10 tons, like 10,000 litres. <laughs> uh, 10,000 litres yeah, a day? Yeah, we can do. On, if you've got maybe 10 guests, on board with the 10 crew with when you've got a lot of lot of children in the swimming pools with the suntan cream on the water goes green and we're dumping it on a daily basis wow. so that on its own is about six tons of water there that's a lot yeah, yeah. high consumption i'm forever changing the filters and back flushing it's, it's super imperative that you keep this kit in tip-top condition at all yeah. times yeah 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 that's that's one definitely one of the secrets to water maker is just constant maintenance yes <laughs> yeah what's your guys theoretical range if you drop it down to like whatever eight nine nuts or something for like some long deliveries um what do you think you guys can 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 reach range wise uh, i'd say we could probably reach about five thousand yeah yeah five so, or six thousand so easily cross the atlantic no yeah problem. you could on one tank on that on that final passage yeah probably from the cape verde islands to the to maybe what St. Lucia or yeah. Barbados, Grenada, you could you could do that quite easily. Yeah. It's only two chillers. Yeah. yeah. So on here we have uh, Fridjomar, two two chiller inverters, high efficiency units, 
and they'll easily power the 20 or so um, fan core units on board yep. quite easily. We've also got the compressor unit with the filter dryer to push the forced air wherever it needs to go on the vessel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, at night time, you can uh, drop it down to one. You can. But I don't tend to. I, can, I tend to keep them in parallel and then they both really reduce down. Got it. Yeah, to keep the hours the same. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you so much, Thomas, for showing us. Around. Very welcome. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, do the share, all the important stuff. If you guys are looking for some more outtakes, join us on the Patreon and you get the owners to say, enjoy the outtakes. I enjoy the outtakes. Ciao! Yes. So enjoying the peace and quiet and you showed up. Let's do it, I guess.